sometimes we have uh, friends or family members who uh, everyone speaks highly of, everyone loves, everyone is, is uh, happy to be their friend. But sometimes those who are closest to the person, who live with the same person, who's popular out of the house, isn't appreciated in their own house. Sometimes there will be a funeral and everyone will acclaim, a, say, a dad of a, of a family as a wonderful person, always involved, always helpful, always cheerful. And sometimes the family members will say, oh, not at home. And sometimes they call that person a, a street angel and a house devil. But in a certain sense, this, this could be somewhat true for all of us all the time. Because familiarity does breed contempt. We see the people who knew Jesus personally, uh, who grew up in the same town with him, they weren't able to see him as he was. It's, it's true, when we see things over and over again, we, we stop being able to appreciate them fully. We start... Um, seeing them in a kind of grayed-out way. If we were to uh, really paint the sunset exactly as it, as it appears sometimes in all its splendor, uh, people would look at the painting and say, well, I think you've uh, oversaturated the colors. You've ex- it's a little over the top there. But that's only because our, uh, our ability to see things that we see again and again uh, d- decreases, to see them accurately. When we see someone for the first time, when we see anything for the first time, when we experience anything for the first time, there's kind of, you know, sometimes a a little honeymoon period. We delight in in the good things that are are there, that are present in this new experience. And uh, really what we should, what we should come to learn from today's gospel isn't that uh, the people of Jesus' hometown were um, sort of the ones who were seeing accurately who Christ was, and everyone else was kind of blinded by the first flush of of the new when they saw him. It's quite the opposite. And sometimes when we see like our own family members, our own parents, our own children, our own in-laws, and we can feel very sort of like very aware of their faults and failings. And we can be upset by other people finding them delightful. But it very well could be <clears throat> that the other people are seeing these same people who sometimes might even drive us crazy as they are. And we're the ones who have become overly... Uh, because of our broken human nature and what happens when we are familiar with something, we're not seeing our own family members the way they really are anymore. You know, spouses need to see each other again new for the first time because a lot of times after a while they're not really seeing their spouse anymore they're seeing their spouse's faults and failings, their problems. And it kind of becomes a, a downward spiral, both becoming more familiar with the other's faults and failings, being less able to see the good in the other person. And they go from really liking to see each other when they're seeing each other more accurately at the beginning to resenting each other pretty easily. Parents can think highly of other people's parents and and very poorly of their own. Uh, But it's only because they've become familiar with them and it breeds contempt. But Jesus loves to break the chains of these terrible things that hold us hostage and, and stop joy. And it doesn't have to be that way. With Jesus, you know, all things can be new. And we can see with the eyes of Jesus by asking Jesus to help us see with his own eyes. And how does Jesus see everyone? 
Even the person in your life who you think, oh, that person is the devil. The devil's the devil. He's a bad angel. But no human person is the devil. Jesus died for that person. The reason he died for that person is because he can see that person clearly. And there's something, no matter how much bad there is in that person, there's something so good in that same person that it's worth dying that the bad might be forgiven and the good preserved. And we're seeing everyone accurately if we see everyone that way. Everyone is worth dying for so that the bad in them might be paid for, might be taken away, cast out, so that that good in them, which is so good, might be preserved.